In this video, we're going to learn about division. And if you remember when we were learning about multiplication, we learned that multiplication was just the same thing as repeated addition. Well, in the same way, remember, division is the opposite of multiplication, so division is the same thing as repeated subtraction. Let's see how that works. Let's look at the examples that I have written here. The first is 72 divided by 8. And let's just see how that works. So I'm going to write that again here. 72 divided by 8. And I said that division was just repeated subtract subtraction. So we just repeatedly subtract. Let's try it. 72 minus 8. 64 minus 8, 56 minus 8, 48 minus 8, oopsie, minus 8, 40, Minus 8, 32, and I'm going to continue this up here, get the 32 and continue that, 32 minus 8, 32 minus 8 is 24, minus 8, 16, minus 8, 8 minus 8 is 0. And so, in other words, you continuously subtract until you get to 0. And so, all you do to figure out um, the actual division is you just count the number of times you subtracted 8. So, that's 1, 2, and let's just do a tick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 72 divided by 8. Equals 9. Simple. Now, what if we have a problem where when we, div when we subtract, we don't get to 0? Well, let's see how it works. Let's try the second example that we have here, and that would be 57, 57 divided by 7. So again, we just subtract. So 57 minus 7, it's just 50, minus 7, 43. Minus 7, 36, minus 7, 29, minus 7, 22, minus 7, uh, 15, minus 7, is 8 minus 7 equals 1. And obviously you can't take 7 from 1, so we have this 1 left over. And so whatever amount we have left over, we call the remainder. And that's where that whole idea of remainder comes from. And when we write it out, then we say that 57 divided by 7 equals, well, let's count them up, 1, 2, oh, take it off, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, remainder 1. 8, remainder 1. And that's all there is to division. Division simply is repeated subtraction. Try some for yourself. Good luck.